I have the, uh, I like to toss my film across and then unroll it. That sometimes does not go that well. So it's nice when it does. There's gonna be a lot of walking back and forth. <laughs> I had a Taurus earlier this morning and the Taurus would have been a really nice, simple, easy car, had enough time, but I already scheduled this windshield live stream. And then I got to like 155, customer still wasn't here yet. And it's like, oh, come on now. But here we are. Fun situations, kind of like with the Audi or the BMW. This is kind of how things go sometimes. I was almost shooting myself in the foot trying to schedule ahead in a, an event based on a two o'clock appointment. They don't always show up. So Jeff says, wedge a tool to help pry it back. I'll look into doing that. Sometimes I have something on hand that might work well. And sometimes it's just you can't get a tool quite in there to work very well. This isn't something that I encounter very often. See, like, it's, it's more about like pulling it back and down. So it's like we could try and put something in here. That might be okay. So we'll just see how this goes. I just don't want to pry on it too much. So I don't want to leave something sitting in there. So it just like kind of sits and then pulls it back the entire installation. So maybe right before we'll try and finagle something. I gotta always go for a good finagling. <laughs> oh, we just pulled it. Come on now. Let's make sure we're overlapping. You guys sick yet? Back and forth, back and forth. This is where you hit your step goals. So if you have a, uh, a smartwatch, you do a big ass windshield like this, you hit your step goals really quick. All right, perfect. So now we're gonna lock that down. It's mainly about making sure I got proportions right on the top and bottom. We're a little bit sloped that way, but we can make it work. I'll grab our heat gun. Pull this this way. It's Friday. Everybody must be busy today, right? An initial cold weather hits and then it slows down and then it'll pick back up, but here and there, not quite as consistent. Yes, they're definitely tricky. You just become an acrobat. So I'm not sure how well this is gonna turn out on camera anyways. So we're doing 50, it's pretty light, but good shade for a windshield. I should mention, I do have uh, text-to-speech enabled, so if you guys ask questions while I'm working, I can hear you. rolling this one too for sure I could carry it in but like let's not create too many headaches for ourselves overall this windshield's not a bad deal to shrink challenge always comes in the installation making sure everything's out of the driver's line of sight everything's as clean as possible Driver's line of sight, especially. I mean, we're talking like little stuff though. You get like a little crease or a little speck or a little something and they gotta stare at it all day. 
That's like you're coming back. You are not going to be happy. They're not going to be happy. Uh, Eric asked, what is the most common shade that I use on windshield? Um, the, uh, the most common shade is going to be 35% right now. Um, it's kind of a rarity right now that I do 50%. But I have been doing so many more windshields lately, which is kind of unusual. Like this whole year. So they talked about changing the Michigan state law for a little while and then nothing actually changed but I think deep down everybody thinks that it somehow changed oh, what? so I don't know I think that kind of spurred a lot of people to take another look at being windshields to me See what's going on here. That's over. So these corners are going to be the most difficult. So try and move a little out on the side and just float it, pull it a little bit. Have I ever had somebody want a 20 winch shield? Somebody asked. Um, yes, and I've done them. Not very often though. Like I, we've had more people ask for them and I usually turn them down. It's one of those like cash only type of deals. Like I really don't want to do 20% winch shield. Very rare that I ever did do one though. You know, I've had people ask for 5% on the windshield just like the rest of the vehicle. So I definitely don't ever go that dark. It's just flat out dangerous at that point. 20% is dark enough on the front. 35 to me is a good acceptable limit. It darkens it up, but if you got good headlights on a newer vehicle, it's really not hard to see out of. You know, 35 on the front doors is a pretty light shade for the most part. So 50%, this is gonna make a nice, a nice little difference here. And some extra UV, help with the glare a little bit, but not, not substantially. 35 would definitely help with that. Unfortunately, no ceramic here. <laughs> Versatility says he has 20. Nice man. <laughs> yeah, honestly, 35 even. If you do 35 on the front, it is very difficult to see anybody because you have to realize too. Oh, I'm sure you do, but like anybody else that's wondering about it. Um, when you're doing 20% over everything and then you do 35 on the windshield, um, it really you know, cuts out that last bit of light that's leaking through the front. So there's a lot of light that comes through the front, which can make every, all the other shades seem light. But as soon as you uh, darken up the front, you're talking about 35%, uh, only 35% left of the light, visible light. So that can be, it can be pretty damn dark looking. <laughs> I'm gonna use my snap box. Here we go. Let's 
Tim Fisher says hello. What up, Tim Fisher? Versatility's got a dark vehicle. <laughs> I think somebody asked about film, so I'll get to that question in a sec soon as I uh, have a minute to peek. I was talking. I'm already tired. What's the? Oh, okay. Somebody, uh, Junior asked, what what type of film do I recommend? Like, what's the best brand? There's a lot of good ones. I like Avery Dennison personally. Um, but there's a lot of good ones out there. There's Expel. There's uh, SunTac, Lumar, SolarGuard, uh, SolarFX, uh, GeoShield, uh, Global is a big one that everybody likes. So there's a big list long list of good brands out there um, check them all out a lot of them will send you samples and then figure out what you like from there about them look into their warranty program that's always a big thing so I always recommend finding a company that's going to back up their shit with real dollars instead of just shipping you extra film because if you have film that goes bad and they just send you more bad film to replace it then you're just putting shit on top of shit And they'll always tell you that they fixed it. But that's not always the case. So we're gonna make one more cut and go closer to our line. Yeah, so having dark tint doesn't necessarily mean you get pulled over, but it is definitely a reason to get followed. Um, in Michigan, I always hear that they're technically not supposed to pull you over for just window tint. Um, but they can pull you over for something else and then write you a window tint uh, ticket. So that always depends. I'll go ahead and peel this off. And then we're going to polish it up and then get to the cleaning and installation. Probably won't be a super long one. But that's a good thing sometimes. Going into today, I wasn't even sure I was going to be that busy. Um, somebody asked if I have any videos on how to lay a film pattern. I got a lot of videos about a lot of subjects. So. Check out, sorry, <laughs> check out the channel. Um, and you'll definitely find a lot on hand cutting and stuff. Let's go ahead and polish this up. Somebody asked, do I recommend Lexan? Um, yeah, Lexan was a good economical brand, but one thing that you might want to keep in mind with them is just because they're put lifetime warranty and they have a really cheap price doesn't mean you're getting the best quality. So they are a great looking film. They're pretty, pretty good to work with. They don't shrink as well as um, some pure dye films and stuff like that, but it's a great way to get started. And I just would be very leery until you test it yourself for any length of time to um, put a lifetime guarantee for customers or something like that. So So yeah, just always keep that in mind with an with economical brand like Lexan. I mean, they're, they're on Amazon, they're on eBay, they have to be very competitive. They have a better version of their product. I've spoken to them, they're really nice people. Uh, but you just have to be leery of stuff like that. It's like, it's not always sunshine and rainbows and usually it's not. So while well, you might save money today, it might cost you in the future. So always keep that in mind. 
All right, what do we got? <sighs> 35 max on the front. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're, we can be a little bit crazy. There's, there's, you know, it's tent. It's an open field. There's different opinions about it. Everybody has their own preferences and, you know, putting it darker is definitely dangerous though if you go too dark. What angle of knife do I use for the top edge of the film? So I've got two knives with me. I've got a 30 degree. I don't know if you guys can see. I got a 60 degree and a 30 degree. 30 degree is carbon steel. The uh, 60 degree is stainless steel. So if you're cutting on glass, use a stainless steel blade. Um, but 30 degree carbon steel, in my opinion, you get a better top edge out of it. So. Hope that answered your question. People have been talking about stainless steel and carbon steel lately, but nobody has mentioned, uh, this might work just a little bit. We need something a little bigger. We need to wedge it like a turbo or something, but I don't really have one. Oh, thanks, man. Somebody said if they ever have trouble tinning and they learned a bunch from me. I appreciate it. So we got a couple of these in here. Anything. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm going to lose them. We're just going to pull it back a little bit. I don't have a regular turbo with me. That'd probably work out pretty well. So let's get started cleaning. Big ass pile of fun. So you definitely want to go lighter on the water for any windshield period. So that's why we got towels, soak ropes, but just in general, be careful. The worst things happen with windshields. So we're just taking a scrub pad and scrubbing compound, going over the whole thing. And then there, I'm in a glass shop, so you're gonna have to excuse the noise over there, too. Yeah, I, we actually been to Myrtle Beach probably seven times. Really? And, um, I haven't been to Myrtle Beach, though. <laughs> Good. Somebody got uh, their tools from 44 Tools. That's awesome. I like 44 Tools. They're a good tool supplier. So he ordered 30 degrees and 60 degrees. That's awesome. Oh, can I take a nap now? So we're gonna start squeezing this off. Let's keep work around this. So I actually already took off the mirror too. I don't know how many people realize these can come off. I didn't when I first started tinning these. Tent whiz. Noticing the dash towel. Yeah, man. So I don't know if I uh, if I told Tent whiz this, but I actually had this made for the competition, but I didn't make it for the finals. But I get to use it in other videos, so. Um, I'm from the Detroit, Michigan area. We're out in Shelby today. So, but yeah, I like this towel. It's actually pretty nice. Jeff from Knee Roll Lighting says this is the most awesome setup. Um, slash, I've become the king of YouTube live. <laughs> Man, I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time. If you go back through my old videos, you'll especially see it. The, uh, it just, technology hasn't been possible <laughs> to do this type of thing. Like, 
I'm on my own still, I gotta get work done. But I really wanna show stuff like this and have some type of interaction. So, to be able to do something like this, in my opinion, is, is about as good as it gets. We got the little stream elements going too to make it a little bit more like, I don't know, streamer-ish. It's fun. So thank you. I appreciate it. Right. So we're gonna get this set up for a reverse roll. I probably could carry this, but I wanna try and take my time with that side. So we're gonna get this set up. I'm glad this is actually working. <laughs> It is a little a little hard to tell all the questions. Sometimes they come in a string in my headset, so we're making changes and stuff. But overall, you know, the fact that I don't have to look at my phone every every 30 seconds to get a question and slow down because it's like, you know, I miss stuff and whatnot. I do have to check for super chats though. I have not figured out quite how to keep track of those unless I look at the stream. So if somebody's left one, I thank you. I will get to it in a minute, but we almost hit our goal too, so uh, unless we did hit it already, I don't know, let me, let me check it in a sec. So to do this, reverse rolling, we just peel the liner one side at a time, and then we're going to roll the whole thing. I like to try and clean these edges off a little bit too. Because in the past, I've gotten a lot of shit on the sides. So, not entirely sure where that comes from, but it's all a learning process. Get one corner peeled. I don't know. I like doing things this way with the reverse roll. Helps keep everything organized and nice and Smooth it out a bit. What insurance company are you with? And what do you Oh yeah. So Dan Dan Arena says he's gonna send me a shirt. <laughs> That'd be great, Master Tenor. Um, and then Jaybird noticed the uh, the cutlass right there. I believe that's a cutlass. Yeah, that's been there for, for quite some time. It's the owner's old school car. It's pretty sweet. They just washed it recently too, so it looks all pretty. So we're rolling this up. Ooh, I'm nervous for this part. Nothing like just doing a full windshield, but then you got that bit on the side to worry about. Like, come on. Isn't it enough that it's already like a full size lifted 2500? Nope, nope, that's not it. It's not enough, we just keep going. Okay, so we got our film. We can actually set this down and I'm gonna bring over my sprayer to here. We're gonna walk over to the other side. <sighs> let me just check this really quick. I'm gonna let that sit for a sec. How's 3M film? 3M film, um, it's got its ups and downs. I think it's overpriced, but they definitely sell some uh, high-end stuff. Let's see, what are we looking for? Oh yeah, Super Chats. So we're gonna take a brief intermission. <laughs> you guys can see, uh, there we go. Hard to find, man. 50 people watching, awesome. No super chats, that's okay. But you could. <laughs> All right, we'll get back to it. JR88, what's up? Jaybird, what's up? Um, let's see. Big Thick joined the channel. Wow, a lot of people join the, join the channel or join the chat, I guess. I don't know. That's interesting. Because I got little alerts for everything too. Ugh. 
pull it off. <laughs> yeah, no. Somebody says pull the trim off. Um, we can't do that. It's half-ass glued um, on this side. It's just, it'll be, it'll be a bad thing if we do that. All right, so where were we? So Sebastian says best regards from Romania. Damn, we got people from everywhere. Welcome, sir. Okay, so we are going to start. Sorry, I didn't mean to miss a question. If you can restate your question, I'd be happy to answer it. I don't always get them. If you add it in a super chat too, I, I can't miss it. <laughs> It's not that I have any bias towards super chats versus regular. Well, I do, of course, a little bit, a little bit. But super chats get highlighted and everything. Regular questions sometimes get missed, and when everybody asks stuff at the same time, it's hard for me to pick out individual stuff sometimes, or I'll be talking over something else. So we're going to. Ooh, can we just set this here? Oh, nice. There's a little wire here, so I pulled off the mirror. Hopefully that doesn't come to bite me in the ass. Let's just leave that for a sec. Maybe we can take care of this right now. Don't fall. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're getting it. Good. Nice. Oh, that was, that was fun. <laughs> so that was not planned, but I'm not complaining. So if y'all catch what just happened, it's a bit of a mirror. The tint, the tint gods are smiling until we squeegee it out and then we see like a big hair or something in the middle of it. There we go. Oh, I love when they go this smooth. Oh, yeah. So uh, Versatility said he had a uh, a truck he tinted a couple times and then they peeled a short days, a couple days later. So, um, especially like if you're new, that'll happen. Um, you just have to, I mean, you could pull the seals to get a much cleaner install on the bottom, but it really just comes down to practicing. So. The corners, all the edges need to be very smooth along the bottom, or else you're right, it will catch a seal or something like that if you didn't go down far enough. So keep practicing for sure. We'll go live with some doors again, and I can uh, coach you through it a little bit better then too. But look at my uh, how to tuck window tint or tucking, tucking window fill made easy. That's gonna be probably the most help of a video for you. Um, a big part is just keeping everything even, keeping everything smooth, because it's just one big sticker, essentially, and if you have a corner that didn't quite lay down, and it starts knocking against stuff, it's going to peel back up, so. Keep that in mind. Um, hope it helps a little bit. Tune in next stream, and we'll probably do a full car. Like, I like to do them on full cars, but this one was too interesting not to not to do. So I've done a couple already, but that video that I mentioned will definitely be the biggest help to you, I hope. Also check out some other channels. You got like Fade to Black, you got Window Tinting Business, you got Window Tinting Warriors. I'm sure you've seen them all, but We got people helping me out in the chat. That's awesome. This is cool. I'm gonna geek out about this probably for a long time to come. This is like ideal community help along with suggestions all together. <laughs> Doesn't get much uh, much better than this anymore. Okay, so we gotta squeegee behind that cell a little bit, but I'm gonna let it sit for a minute and worry about the rest of it. And then we'll get like a, a really thin tool to try and slide behind there, like an easy reach or something. And then we'll 
wipe it all off, put some stuff back together. You guys can see how the mirror came apart. Node boss asks about the um, about the Lexan follow up video. Um, so I used them some of my last live stream. I have been putting that off some, and I apologize. I'd love to do it. It's just certain things get in the way, um, but I still intend on doing it. I have a shelf half built, so what I really want to do is test the uh, the longevity. Um, of their film because everything else seems like it's okay for the most part um, So it really comes down to longevity and I have like an experimental thing for that, but it, Putting together like a full review video can be a little daunting sometimes So where something like this is much easier just to like shoot the shit and show you guys how to do stuff Reviews not my specialty So we have a triage here Oh, that might have worked. Cool. That actually looks good. I think we're pretty good here. Let's get a little bit of water. We're gonna wipe down. A little bit of water. Oh, all right. I'm just taking a sec. <laughs> Okay, so versatility also asks uh, snap shrinking the window. I have a how to shrink door windows video that I posted not too long ago. It's got some snap shrinking. Um, that's my best explanation of it, but really you're just going to create a little bit of a curl. And then it's going to all lay flat. And if it's fighting with you to lay down, like if you go to smooth it down and it pops back up, um, really aggressive or if it's really hard to put it down then you've shrunk it too much if you don't shrink it enough it'll let you know too it'll have little fingers at the bottom so Ooh, this looks good my biggest question on reverse rolling is always in here i think we might have a little speck that we have to get out i see something but it's right here. So we got a little speck that we gotta take care of. But other than that, so far we're looking really good. Oh my God. <laughs> Need cardio, need some more cardio. This is, this is plenty of it for today. You're looking good. You're looking so good. And you guys heard how nervous I was. Versatility. He says he apologizes for all the questions. Man, don't apologize. That's how you find out. I appreciate it. This is all about being interactive, being helpful, and putting my best foot forward. With, uh, with this whole program, I guess. I don't know. It's just like, there's tons of questions and I love answering them. Um, and it's easiest to answer these just while I work. I'll sit on the phone with somebody for hours at a time. Me and Patrick from Window Tinting Business will talk for six hours at a time. So don't apologize for asking so many questions. It's how you find out. And I appreciate you hanging out in the chat. It gives gives me something to do too. Uh, somebody asked, is there any low angle haze? No, not with this one. This is just regular NR, so it's a dyed film. Oh, where is, we had a speck. Might have to do some hunting. What kind of film gets sticky adhesive? Um. There it is. There we go. Let's spray this out. Uh, what kind of films have sticky adhesives? Um, they all have different ones. You really just gotta try them out. The one that I noticed though that comes to mind is Global. Global's like got a crazy sticky adhesive. 
all that shit gets left behind when you go to peel it most more often than not. Um, it's a good film. It'll last a long time. My discrepancy was it with just the glue, but that doesn't make it a deal breaker by any means. <sighs> so, yeah, but this is just a regular guide film. No ceramic, unfortunately, on this one. So, you're going to get a little bit of low angle haze for mostly carbons and ceramics. It's just the nature of them right now. They're working on making them better. But, you know, they take particles, make them really small. Those particles were not see through from the beginning, so the smaller they make them, the better it looks. We get that little speck out. There was a little black speck right here. Just took her time, sprayed it out. Looks really good. Oh, this thing turned out so nice. What causes bubbles? Um, there's a bunch of things. Okay, one question first. So somebody asked where can they buy rolls of film to tint at home? Um, there's a lot of places now. Uh, 44 Tools sells Avery Dennison. Um, Sun Distributing Direct sells Avery Dennison. I'm a big fan of that film. Um, there's there's global sites. There's uh, like filmnow.com or something like that. There's Tint Depot. Um, there's uh, uh, guys, leave in the chat where you can buy some film. <laughs> there's lexanauto.com. Uh, there's a bunch of them. And now I forgot my other question. Damn it. All right, so we're being very careful pulling this out. Now you can see how dry my dash is, which is fantastic. That's what we want to see. Towel doing its job. Let me throw this out so I don't trip on it. So the one thing I don't like about these ropes, and that's just the nature of using them, is they can pinch in here with the paneling and stuff like that it's not a product flaw but just something to keep in mind so taking like a tool and putting it as a safety to like hold the film down while you pull it out do that other than that look at that look at that oh that's exciting just let me just stay here appreciate my work take a nap i have all my cardio in for today <laughs> let me see the chat really quick um, how long does that film last? Good question. Um, they say it's got a, a lifetime... <laughs> manufacturer work. Um, lifetime warranty, color stable film. Um, it's from a 30-year film manufacturer uh, over in Israel. Hanid has been making film for a very, very long time. Avery Dennison bought the company uh, like a year, year and a half back now. So, should be good um, if it does fail which anticipate everything failing. They're supposed to um, pay out pretty decently when you have a problem. What you wanna look for in that realm is really a company that's going to back up some of your costs, not just, you know, throw 10 bucks of film at you or something like that. So just be careful. There's lots of cheap films. They'll throw you five bucks for a door, 20 bucks for a door. 80 for a back window and that's like or not even 80 basically film costs like what did it cost will comp you for the cost of the film and the problem with that is you're just putting more bad film on top of the situation so when they pay out i mean there's a good chance that you might be hopping film brands or something so it's just one less reason to get stuck somewhere where the oh i am just losing my mind this goes this way. Duh. This way? This way? I don't know. It's so dark in here. I'm pretty sure it's this way. There we go. Okay, so these mirrors are actually kind of interesting. I didn't know that they did this until um, somebody here pointed it out to me. So you got this sensor right here. Uh, these are the RAM mirrors. They actually spin um, instead of just pull off. So line it back up and you'll see, feel it like click into place up here. Somewhere. I swear it'll do it. Oh, there we go. Kryptonite asks how much do they charge just for a back window? Um, it depends on the back window. Oh my god. I am not making this look good. And the phone is ringing like crazy. I swear. I swear it'll do it. It'll do it. We're gonna end the stream early. I'm just kidding. Get this on here. 
Oh my god. Are we right? Shut up. Am I doing this wrong? No, I'm not. No, it goes this way. <sighs> um, so the back window, it all depends on like what you're installing. Maybe there. There we go. I sometimes don't take these off, but because I had so much in the way. Oh my god, this one. This one's being a butt. Let me move this out of the way. Let me move this out of the way. And we'll put these on after. This is real. This is the real struggles here. So now we're not fighting with cables. That's one less thing. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. <sighs> That's it. It really is that easy. <laughs> Um, so the problem with this is all the wires were kind of like pushing this the wrong way, I guess. You know, just another thing that it would hang up on. So maybe put the wires on after would have been a good thing, but you know, now you're like tucking it back in there. So you saw. All right. So now we get to play, um, puzzle with these plastic parts. I've always had trouble with this top one though. A little bit, wherever it went, here it is. So this clips into here, but you have to wrap the wires first. So something like that. And then, let's see how this goes. Route the wires away from this a little bit, and then it should pop in. There's one. There's two. And then this got stuck. So many little things. So many little things. Oh no. Oh no. Guys. This is harder than the whole, the whole install right here. Here, I had a couple wires here that got jammed. There we go. Um. If people are saying that only ceramic makes sense on the windshield, that's not true. Depends on what you're going for. You know, ceramic is great, but it's not as clear. Not all the time. Um, a lot of them are really good, but if you just want to darken up your windshield a little bit, keep yourself protected. I mean, yeah, there's UV protectors in the glass and stuff like that, at least in windshields. Laminated windows. But I don't know if... I thought I heard something saying that regular film's not... You know, something about ceramic versus dyed for windshields. They're both good. It depends on, on what you're looking for as a person and as a customer. So everybody's got their own recommendations. I would strongly recommend somebody get ceramic, but there's nothing wrong with doing this. I've had so many more regular film jobs. <sighs> okay. Dana Reyna says, I don't use dyed anymore, exclusively ceramic, and people are paying for it. That is awesome to hear i am glad you have got that client base man that's those are some good ones to attempt for all right we're gonna answer a couple questions and we're probably gonna wrap up in a minute i probably can't get out of this shop without losing wi-fi connection <sighs> so where are we at let me close this Oh, we got a couple of super chats. I'm sorry, guys. Daniel Reyna with the $10 super chat. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. I think this means that we hit our we hit our goal. <laughs> Chicago Auto Pros, bro. Check out you guys. Check out uh, real quick. You guys should go over to Chicago Auto Pros. Check out their channel. They're super cool. Um, they they attended the conference. Um, which was, which was really cool. I actually didn't get a chance to meet them. We started talking right after that when they posted the video and then I saw I was in it. Um, really, really cool channel. 
Um, they do some tinning. They do a lot of high-end detailing and stuff like that too, paint protection film, so give them a shout. Um, also, I, sh I wanted to mention too, they have a, uh, they ha they're giving away $1,000 to their new store. Um, it is carguysupplies.com, so check them out. They're just doing a huge giveaway. They have tinning supplies, detailing supplies, so if you're in the business for some stuff, go check them out, go check out their channel, and then carguysupplies.com. So again, thank you Chicago Auto Pros for the super chat. It's much appreciated. Um, I'm actually gonna be co-training a class with them too in the future, so that'll be awesome. <sighs> All right, what else we got? And people are asking about films, like just comparisons. How much do you charge for just back window? We talked about that. Should you charge extra because of, of a rear view mirror? No, don't charge extra because of the rear view mirror. That's just part of the job. Um, like if you had some elaborate cutout or something, but this is very standard. The only reason why it took me so long is because uh, the plastics, I had a hard time lining those up and then just uh, the the metal piece, I just had to line it up to turn it in. I don't, I don't do a lot of these and then also you can cut around this whole thing, but pulling it out gives you a little bit of extra space. The windshield's all set. It turned out fantastic, so I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. So we can go up and we can look at the whole thing. Ugh, somebody said just joking. What? Robert, did I? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, guy asked about the, the rear view mirror, said he's just joking. So, <laughs> it's hard to get context behind, especially when I only have half a second to read a comment. But thank you for tuning in. All right, we're gonna wipe just this little bit off and then go ahead and end things. If you need more, I can get them. No, I got it. It's good. <sighs> but we hit our super chat goal. That's super cool. I appreciate it, guys. This was fun. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys got to see some of the real struggles. Um, I intend to do these every Tuesday and uh, Friday. That's what I'm shooting for. That might change a little bit with like a Wednesday or a Thursday, but I'll try and schedule them out right. It looks like it succeeded this time in scheduling in advance. So that's always nice. If I can, I'll do that. <sighs> Look at this. It turned out good. Super happy. But yeah, I can't pull this out without losing the connection. So we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. And once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, I will see you in the next one.